in Arabic. So if there's a group of men and women, it's hum. Yeah. If there's a group of females, it's hunna. Uh huh. If, if there's a group of uh, majority females, it's hunna. It's, 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 it's like you know they, they. Yeah. And there's a group of only men. Only men. There is no, that's the thing. You could argue that there is no specific like here hum is men and women, and it's only men as well. Whereas you have two pronouns that can be... It's uh, the same as Spanish. No, 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 maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a Spanish speaker. It's the same as Spanish. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you can't really argue this. But let me say why, right? Why not? Because let me give you one verse in the Quran, yeah? It says in Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33 of the Quran, مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالِ From, and the word here is mu'minin, the believers. The believers are men. From the believers are men. Mankind. Yeah, now, mu'minina is in the hum form. Hum refers to both men and women this is the proof of it yeah and here is extrapolating the men out of the group of men and women Do you get it the point is you could argue that hum refers to either all men and or men and women whereas honna refers to only all women so there are two yeah, but, there are but two but pronouns you don't have a word that, the, but there are two pronouns in arabic that refer to women and only one that refer to men no but that's because the, the word for men is all inclusive if you there's no it's the same way in Spanish. It's that the men. So what? Is, if there's one no, man, no, no, but the that, group is considered all men. No, no, that's no, the point. No, no, that's not how it's in Arabic. Say, for example, you've got if you've got majority if you've got a majority woman, and you have one man, then really this is a group of females. Majority is females. Uh huh. Yes. So if you have a group of people and there are a hundred women there and there's one man, yes. Which pronoun do you use? The if there's a hundred and women. If there was a hundred, now you'd use the one for females. Okay. Because it would confuse the people. You would say hunna because it's majority females and it would confuse people. Yeah, because it's a hundred women is, is a lot. Anyways, going back to what we were talking about. We got sidetracked now to language. Yes. By the way, there's, there's well, some interesting... It's much more comfortable with the philosophy argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I going back... No, no, it's, it's good. Uh, do you know something else interestingly, yeah? You can use... You can use something... I my, can or we can? No, in Arabic. Pronouns are very important, don't you think? Why do you think they're important? Because when you're speaking to me and you say you can do this and you can do that, it feels accusatory in a way. And it's something that we can all do. And but, I feel like yeah, you're speaking to but, the crowd, not just to me. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, but I'm talking to you. Yeah, but do you get what I'm saying, and, yeah? Sure. All right. So, in a nutshell, the reasons, I can't tell you all the reasons. For example, the hijab is mentioned in the Quran why, why the hijab is prescribed. I thought it wasn't. No, the hijab, that particular, it says فَلَا uh, So the reason why, one of the reasons behind it is so that women don't get exploited by men. But one of the reasons behind it. But why would we focus on the men exploiting We are them? as well, because there's, there's, a, there's a whole injunction for men to lower their gaze. And so there's another injunction for women to protect themselves, but in if, a sense. But if, mm, but if men are lowering their gaze, then why would women have to come They're not. That's the body. problem. We're not lowering and, our gaze. And why is it that like women wouldn't be attracted to men and look at men in a sexual way? The same well, way? That's, that's the thing. We go back to our biology, psychology and physiology. We're saying that we're different. Men and women are I fundamentally... Have pardon? I have a libido. Yes, a but it's not, the same. Libido. it's not the same as the man's libido. Whatever you want to do, it's not going to be the same. That's a very general statement. Statement. I think to start, like, to No, I'm not. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. Statement. I'm not saying it's less or more. A big, a bigger I'm not saying. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying it's. <laughs> yeah, you're going red, my friend. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying it's less or more. Yeah, I'm not saying it's more intense or less intense. I'm just saying it's different. Would you agree with that? Most studies that sure. I've looked at. Most studies, I don't believe okay. in just two genders. Well, well, look, most studies that I've looked at have shown that men have more of an instant impulse, whereas women are more slow burners if you like so I, I mean that has to do more with some socialization that's happening especially today no I don't think so I think generally speaking you know women are more slow burners when it comes to sexual activity whereas men are more instantly activated I think we want to say that and that's why we don't have a positive word to discuss women who like to have sex with multiple partners or lots of sex with we one do partner. we have that we have those words but that you, word? you do not have any room to maneuver here in Pardon? English I'm talking in your religion, polygamy in your creed you can't change it no. Yeah, poly polygamy. It's not for a man. Polygyny is for a man. No. Yes, yes. Polygyny is for a man, right? Yes, yes. Get the dictionary. Polygamy is for men and women, both of them. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking more yeah. about polyamory. Yeah, that polyandry as well. That's for women specifically. No, no. Polyandry is for women to have multiple husbands. Yes, yes. So there about is a word. Polyamory. What's that? Polyamory is literally polyamory, the love for more than one person. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know that. Sounds good. So, no, Let's but so, so we do have the word there. What's the problem? No, I'm not talking about the concept of being able to do that. I'm saying, what do you call a woman in the most positive way possible 
who enjoys having sex a lot. Why, why? There's only one word, and it's a terrible word. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to repeat it. No, no, and no. And when no, you no. call a man who likes to have lots of sex. That's going to be a positive word. Yeah, I agree no, with. I agree with that. Look, 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 look. Let me tell you something. Islamically, Wait, but you didn't tell me. I don't know. In English. Yeah, in English. I don't know. Man. I don't know if you Usually have those words in, in Arabic. Smiling. He's smiling. I think he knows. No, you? look. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Joking. I'm not disagreeing with you I'm on this. Sure. This is a point of agreement. I think this is not a point of disagreement. I, I agree that when women do it and whatever men do, it, that that's the point of agreement. It's not, it's not disagreement. What I'm going to say to you, what I'm going to say to you is that, generally speaking, things like polygamy, the hijab, all of those things. Are, are in, a, in a sentence explained by the fact that there are differences. He's going to say she's genetics, basically. That's it. But there are differences, but like, so what? Okay. Why would that? That's so, exactly the argument that, of the feminist. Why would that relegate Sorry. a woman to have to cover her entire body? Let me ask or you then. Good. Face? Good. Why? Let me ask you a question. Why it's are we? The same argument. No, no, no. That no, no. Give for that's women who that's like, a very. Oh, what are you wearing? No, no, no. That's very good. Yeah. Now, now we're going somewhere. So you're saying there are differences, but we should re disregard the differences. Not disregard them. But so what like, should we do? What should we do with the differences? How should how should we account it's them? The same way that I think that a, what a woman wears in the street should not determine whether she's rapeable or not. We should be or. My father wanted to keep me in the house when I was young because no, he was no. so afraid that I would be assaulted. And yeah, no, instead, no, he should have been out on the streets talking to the young men no, no, who might want wait, sorry, who might want to assault me. Yeah. He should be speaking to those men. The men should be speaking to other men. It shouldn't be about keeping women in the house okay. and keeping them covered while they were uh, no the problem. I'm, I'm asking a, a simple Are you question. To me yeah, yeah, I got, I got that. Okay. I got that argument. I understand it. What I'm asking you is. We agree that there are differences. There are two. There are two ways of dealing with this. Yeah, we can either disagree about those differences. We, we either accept those differences and account for them, or disregard those differences. What should we do? Well, there's, no, there's a mid ground. I don't think you can. Say. What's the middle ground? Tell me what the middle ground is. I don't know. I just feel like if we're if we're smart enough to be able to develop books and laws that are gonna dictate how we live our lives, we can develop something that doesn't say that women have to behave a certain no, way but, in order to no, no, but, stop themselves but Christi from being raped. But Christina, don't you think, freedom expression. Don't you but Christina, think you, you see the question I'm asking you is very profound. Don't and you, think, you know it's actually the building. Look, I want you to understand something, right? Before we can we can't build castles on thin air, okay? Arguments so are we like. You can build them on sand, though. Right, yeah. No, it will be a weak foundation. I'm from the beach, though. But I've okay. seen castles built on sand. No, what I'm saying maybe they're uh, <laughs> sand castles. What I'm talking about here is, yeah, if we want to have a co coherent, logical understanding of why, why we're doing certain things, we have to actually have a foundation which is quite solid and firm. So, here, the, the, as we can see here, we've identified that there are differences between men and women. Now, we've, we've seen that there are two ways of dealing with those things. In a, in a nutshell, you can either account for those differences or disregard those differences. Now, I'm asking you, what should we do? Well, the thing and is, why? Because, and why as well? Because I don't agree that it's about differences. What I believe is that men have a men have an ego problem okay. and they have a jealousy problem, and they view women as why their is that a problem? And they view women as their property. Okay, and maybe so, that's what... not only do they not want to see. I think it's just about them not wanting to have all, their mean, property like violated by another man. Okay, that's that, what I think. That stuff I agree with. It no has problem. nothing to do with protecting uh, women. Me and you agree with the same thing. All right, no problem. We all agree with that. You agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we have that have issues. An ego yes, problem, yes. And they have definitely. They walk around doing dick, no, he, no, he's dick competition. He, he's yes. definitely saying something differently to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm he's talking about genetic differences as well, and you can't exclude that. What I'm saying is, what should we do? with biological, psychological and physiological differences. Should we should we uh, take them into consideration or should we disregard them? No, we should take them into consideration. Okay, but that perfect. Mean that how? women how? would how? have to dress how? in a particular way so why are you because dictating men that? can't control them. So how do we dictate? We don't. I don't, I don't what know we should if anyone do? should dictate. I'm an anarchist. Like I don't even no like problem. that label either. Like I don't want anybody yeah, but you dictating want anything. <laughs> you want to wear what you want, don't you? Do you want a man to dictate what you wear? The thing is, I yes have to not? change the way that I dress because I don't want that kind of attention and I don't want to live in a world where I have to wear a hijab or a burqa or sweatpants no problem. No problem. To, avoid, that, to avoid harassment by men. No problem, but you live in a world. Let me, give, let me, let me put it in a very straightforward uh, parable for you, right? <coughs> we live in a world... Ah. <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> Flashbacks. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> you got attacked, right? Last Sunday. I got attacked last Sunday. Oh, that was just last Sunday. Okay, perfect. I it, I, he provoked that attack. We're going to go in. With he this. He said he was going to apologize. I, I did, provoked him with this. You were wearing this. No, I put it on when I saw that they all want to attack me. It's his Why did they want to attack you? I'll come to that after. after. We'll talk about it afterwards, yeah? Let's go back to our discussion. The point... <laughs> 
I'm listen, safe. listen. Go, on. Go back to our discussion. Our discussion is. But wait, but you agreed with me that what? the yeah. reason that we have that we feel like women are supposed to be treated a certain way is because men can't control their egos and their jealousy, and they feel that women are their property. Do you know so what? You, do, okay. He said he's genetic. Right, right. You know, wait, there's a pre, there's a presupposition in what you're. That genetically, men have you feel jealous. All those no, things. look, look. There's a presupp There's a presupposition in what you're saying. Which is. Which is that the prob you, you define them as problems. You could define them as either. Street harassment is a problem. Just two minutes. All right, two minutes, two minutes. Don't worry, the, I gotta go too. So. Yeah, yeah, two minutes. Let me finish this. A <laughs> presupposition is He's the way. political wing over there. But you so, see, you, this, I saw his videos. So yeah. I don't know about all that. Look, look, listen, listen. <laughs> there's a there's a presupposition, and it's the same one that De Beauvoir uses. Yeah. She she in her chapter of biology she talks about how men are. Possessive you're into this and these things. Well, aren't you? Yeah, no, no, because she's she's mainstream, so I like to. You I'm not going to. Talk about Sartre, like, yeah. But read some I black feminists. Some women. I have. Like, I have, I have, have, I have read some black feminists, like, like Ngo, uh, Ngo, uh, Ngoni, what's her name? Ngoza, whatever her name is. She yeah. wrote some little books. Uh, yeah, but she, does, she writes fiction. I'm talking. Oh no, no, no. no, 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 no she she wrote short the like feminist manifesto. Why everyone should be a feminist? Whatever. Anyways, look. Going back. She's very mainstream too. Okay, I've looked at her stuff. She's she's more. I would say she's more fair. Yeah. Red bell hooks. No, not yet. Audrey Lord. Who? Audrey Lord. I've come across some of her stuff, but I haven't read her books yet. But I'll come. I'll. I'll, I'll write. I'll put it in my reading list. Look. Yeah. What I was gonna say is that look. The I point. Think you're Darwin. <laughs> Listen. Feminist Darwin. No, I'm, I'm open. Yeah. To he's, a reading. He's not. He's to a reading, not to well, conversion. Well, to reading. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lot of reading yeah, yeah. besides his his one book. I know people who are just like, that's my book. That's all I need. So yeah. you're not that person. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. I think he so I was saying to you, look. We'll come to that. The, the presupposition is how many is. Yeah, should be disregarded, or should be seen as negative, or should be uh, always the problem of men. Okay, so it's a it's a problem for us. It's the, really the problem of women. It's w men. So now, but how how do we how okay how do we solve this problem? We've got men. Let's say that are, um, have certain traits that are differentiated from women. That we want to do this and we want to do that. We're more polygamous we're with this or that. Beings, we're more so. aggressive. We're ninety-nine point nine percent of people in prison are men. Whatever, yeah, all of those things. Yeah, but, that's but he wants doctrine. So he wants, what do we do with that? Doctrine solves that. Problem. How do we prescribe? You what and I do we would not agree with that yeah. at what, all? What, what I'm saying is, what is the solution? What is your solution for it? Have you got a solution for it? Education. For how, how, Education. How men wouldn't assault women. Education, right? Like, Education has to be that. To, chill, to teach children to treat women with respect and for men okay. to be treated with respect. Let's that say is education is a good thing and it's, I, it's we agree with it. No problem. Yeah. No, let's do education. I mean, but what I'm saying is this. If you're saying that women will be exploited by men, no, and let's be... Are, yeah, no, are, sexually this is... Not whatever. No, no problem. Yeah. Shouldn't women take precautions? Yeah, but precautions doesn't mean that we should stay home. I'm not saying that. In a I'm not, no, but I'm saying, I'm not, what I'm saying is this. What precautions have proved to be more successful? I don't think wearing those clothes has been very successful. No, but let me ask you a question. I go out in the street with baggy no, jeans no, no. and whatever and like no, it no, 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 but let me let me let me once again, right? Precautions which prevent And as I said with education and you're saying education, I'm talking about Okay. Education. I'm talking So, like, so would you do you agree? Do you agree? Do you think men can Christi say and you know, inherently, yeah. biologically, yeah. I really just want to ravage a can woman I, when I see her. I but you know what? I won't do that no, because I understand, it's I understand. wrong. No, I, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, can I yeah, yeah. this is your freedom of speech to be who you are as a man biologically, but actually you cannot infringe upon my rights to be a, a woman. Yeah, and we're different. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But so just one, one, one point. Actually asked me. They've said, why don't I rape? If I if I'm not if I'm not religious, if I have no morals, I'm an atheist. Why don't I rape? It's a very interesting thing. Yeah, they asked me that. As if I have no innate morality. <laughs> Which I do. If you do, well, you got to ask where it came from. All right. So if evolution, that's a, my friend. But no, we'll have that discussion in another. No, time. no. Uh, evolution. That's a different case. All right. So in you a nutshell, go. in a nutshell, in a, in, a, in a one word, we will say that one one measure, which forces men not to look at women. No. Is no. Uh, no. Hold on. It does. A certain. Pr if if we're, if we're, we're saying that you don't want men to to look at you as com commodities or, or objectify you, right? One measure that forces that is privatization of the ornaments of women. It forces that. You can't, you can't feast on or exploit that which you can't see. I saw women wearing. You see what I'm saying? Wearing jalabas that really like yeah, I agree. showed that's, that's their wrong. That's wrong. That's beautiful yeah, curves. So. Anyways, 
I don't know. Okay, sorry. Mamet, pleasure. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Mamet, you're right. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegard and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. We give Dawah and present Islam to the Norwegian people. Isn't that great? To be more efficient in our Dawah, we are establishing a first of its kind Masjid and Dawah Center, where we will have Islamic programs, classes, lectures and education for non-Muslims. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet, and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. Maybe my mom and dad become Muslim one day thanks to you. If we can establish this center, I could bring my parents to come and learn about Islam in our native language. Which is a challenge today with the mosque here speaking Somali, Arabic and Urdu. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.